Barbecue ribs. Turkey. Brisket. Heart attack city. I can only dream of this kind of food now. Dicky heart. I could die on stream, you know. You could be here to watch it and revel in it. Stead to be there going, I got the VIP. Oh, it's big sad flash is dead, but I got the VIP. Hey everyone, I'm Joel Anson. For today's video, we're me in South Lake, Texas. I still can't get over those ear things that people have. It's called Feed Store Barbecue. Yeah, He's got a face that. I do say so myself. Taking on their. He looks like that other streamer, is it Jinx? So Maybe it's just the way he shoots himself, but he shoots himself like he's Liam Gallagher from down here, like looking down. Like, and he's just got this massive chin. As I heard, it was about 10 pounds of meat alone, which is insane. That's a lot of, that's a lot of meat. Now, when we watch this in a second now, we're going to work, watch a instructional video about how a competitive eater's stomach works. Because there's something going on. Used to be little. We can't just eat like this. South Lake. But anyway, let's head on over. I love barbecue. Texas size barbecue challenge. And at that, let's go eat. I, I'm working all day, every day. I'm, I'm running a, a really busy arcade. A huge amount of barbecue. It looks great, it smells great. I mean, hey, after 23 years, you're definitely doing something. Look at his face, sir. I mean, I don't want, I don't like making fun of people, you know what I mean? Because they could generally have something like wrong with them or stuff like that. But he looks, <laughs> he looks like he's mid stroke. He, he looks like he's in the middle of the stroke. This, this you know, and he's thinking, what? Well, I, I, he's mid-stroke. That's his wife. Beautiful, faithful. This guy is his best friend, but he realizes he's got to wear glasses all the time because everyone knows he's looking at her with lust in his lust in her eyes, lust in his eyes. Yeah, that's it. Mitchell McConnell face. That's who he looks like. I'm right here in South Lake, and I've heard it's the best. I'm sure it is. <laughs> the best hands possible. In fact, I got all the owners here, so very awesome that I actually would like luck down. None of them approve of him. I'll tell you right now, they're looking at these, these earrings and the first thing they're saying to themselves is, I'm at Exa I mean, that's exactly what they're thinking. Look, he's got a face that says, I do not approve of this man's lifestyle. And she's there thinking, I've always wanted to meet a gay guy. And he's still thinking, which one should I be looking at? Her or him? He's got, he's got a better skincare routine than Karen does. And believe you me, she spends all morning in there. You, you do love. It's like paint, it's like painting the Sistine Chapel. Well, not only do we have Mr. Mike, who is a younger generation owner, but we have the more experienced generation owners here as well. Mima. And uh, that's an odd way of getting around saying old fuckers. Why have we let this come in our home? Wait, a, a younger generation. Did he say older person? All the owners here, so very awesome that I actually would like lucked out. Not only do we have Mr. Mike, who is a younger generation owner, but we have younger generation owner, more experienced generation owners here as well. Mima and Papa Bill. So Meme and up, Papa they're Bill. Their 20s. They're you know, younger than I am. Uh, no, they're actually they're actually in their 80s, and I will say they look absolutely excellent. So you guys are doing something right. I hope I look like them when I'm their age. Uh, <laughs> Secrets of barbecue. Secrets of barbecue, right? I like it. I like it. So, Mr. Mike. We're yeah, hey, I'm, he, he does look beautiful. Mr. Mike. Oh, he's got the cane out and everything. This. Well, we moved. But look, though, listen, you, you, I'm saying all that. I mean, you'd expect a guy like this here now. You know, he, he's got himself a Nokia 6210, a reliable, dependable phone. Wrong! Look at that! iPhone! You know, we've got the screen on maximum size. Like every text message, he has to scroll it for a day because the, the letters are this big. Here in 74, and it was Bill Miller's Feed and Tack, and over the years it was bought and sold. So it was a feed it, store? It was a true feed store. Wow. Uh, parts of the building goes back to the 40s. Uh, and we moved here in 74, and eventually it had that's, changed. That's that's 1940s. The owner put it up for sale, and just uh, just in case. It to dad and okay. Dad I know. It with maybe the intentions of tearing it down, but we ran it as a feed store for a little bit, and then my brother came up with the idea of maybe we could convert this to a barbecue restaurant. So, uh, feed store to a barbecue. I mean, hey, it makes sense where the name came from. Where the name came from. What's that doing there? What's this for? Is that just the gut is that just the garnish? Can't watch other people leaving. Have a great rest of the stream. What's going on, Foxy? 
Have you got the Rona? Are you dying? Take care, take care, Foxy. And here we are 23 years later. 23, yeah. yeah it means you're doing something right. Yeah, I'm trying every day. Uh, I like it. And I know uh, Papa Bill was telling me, you know, his true... We, we will be doing Red Dead do later right. on. Don't, Don't do you worry. Always do your best. You can every single day. Now, my friend, what do we actually have all in front of us? Because this looks amazing, but... You're the expert? Let's hear it. Well, this is just a small sampling of what we got, because we small. do have a large menu. Ten pounds. We have our crisp coleslaw. We have our uh, steamed broccoli, our mama's green beans, named after mama. I like it. We have what and, and she's done a fantastic job by just boiling everything. Well, well done, mama. All the green beans, stick it in a pot, boil it. My my nan used to cook like that. You walk downstairs and the wallpaper, they'd have, you know, the wallpaper that someone's painted over. You know, you know it's like, I mean, the bubbly wallpaper where after a while they go, let's freshen up the wallpaper, let's paint over it. And everything would just be boiled and the paint would just like bubble and peel off the paint. You could see it coming off in sheets. We, we call our famous ribs. We have shipped these ribs all over the world for people. Cool. We have our uh, American catfish fried and cooked to order. We have our pulled pork. We have our smoked turkey breast. I have my jalapeno link. I say I have mine because we have developed the recipe. It's ours. And we have our smoked brisket, smoked turkey breast, and of course our burnt ends. Beautiful. Uh, See the burnt ends I'd like. I, I won't mind say, having them. So the burnt ends look amazing. These huge juicy and a gl chunks. And, and a gl special sauce. And a right? what? Yes, chipotle, babe, chipotle maple based. Wow. Barbecue sauce. Chipotle maple. So different than the traditional, right? Traditional, much different than traditional. Lots yeah. of lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. I mean, hey, that's what we want, that burnt and smokiness. The brisket is award winning. It looks absolutely excellent. At that, I'm anyway. Smoke with hickory. Back to meat. You know what I'm gonna start with? I'm gonna this catfish here, buddy. So they also make a, a charter sauce. I'm not a liar. A cocktail sauce. But I'm gonna try it just by itself. So we start in here, one minute odd in. Never beaten, to be fair. Look at these. Nice breath. She's tried this before. She's tried this before. Ketchup hot sauce life. I'm going to perch it right here on my ribs. Did he? I think he said £10 worth of meat. I'm going to dip in this ketchup. I mean, can you imagine the strain that would put put under your gut? I can feel my mega powers exploding. I've been, I've been looking for some specific macho man figures, Pope. I inhaled it. I have to try and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to pay through the nose for them. I think. I will say. Mm. Little catfish, little hot sauce. This is Tabasco. I love me a Louisiana style. Let me know your favorite kind of hot sauce. To have the turkey is like, like pure protein. He's. Gonna, I would have thought he'd struggle to get through that. I mean, that's not an. You know, sometimes these challenges, you go, well, it's not that much there, really. Pure protein, pure meat and fat. That's surely gonna. Like, what What does your stomach do? I've never had a cocktail sauce with pepper in it. What does your stomach do, do under those circumstances? Okay, hang on. What are they? What are they? The ribs did have a different um, kind of like rub on them. So they're just, they're like, applauded pepper. him. It was a little bit more of a like. Yeah, the bri the brisket like, kind of is southern, just just American style. It's going for a roast. Rub. Cabbage down. There you go. <laughs> I don't think we'll be returning to the ketchup or the hot sauce. So thank you for your time. I appreciate you both. Let's get in this barbecue, guys. I mean, it's a lovely looking turkey breast. See, Americans do do barbecues better than us. Oh, yeah. They do they do them properly. Oh. Our version of a barbecue is a couple wow. of hot dogs, a couple of burgers, and maybe some ribs. Mm. And after that, it's jacket potatoes and coleslaw. Americans do it properly. Texas style barbecue. And then the burnt ends as well being cooked. I like this idea of going out and eating with gloves on. Maple. You know, to make sure uh, you don't get everywhere. On them as well. I should start walking again, around with a special pair exactly of gloves in my pocket. Style, you know, turkey, for, for, brisket, for, for barbecues um, and sausage, deep cavity searches. Uh, and the pulled pork. Uh, you know, just have them on the ready. Texas style, true and true. Um, they did smoke with a hickory here. So compared to some barbecue restaurants, it was definitely a bit of a lighter smoke on all the items. So if you like that lighter smoke, a little bit less of a punch that you'd get. I mean, this is this is proper America. You can go to New 
York. You can go to Los Angeles. That's kind of America. This is proper America. Um, and then he's not even chewing. He's pushing it down his gullet. That's why I want to watch this video in a minute. That's I mean, if, if, if someone's prop, that's what I'm saying, Pope. If you're doing it like with proper equipment and you're like exact, you're like you're into that kind of thing. But like a, a, a British barbecue is basic as fuck. more traditional than that. It, it's not. It's never anything to it. It's a burger. Yo, every now and then it's like, oh, I've done a little bit of something. But yeah, oh, wh oh, where have you cooked that? Oh, I've cooked it in the oven inside the house. Freckles, brisket, pulled pork, marinated chicken. See, that's what you want. I saw this machine and I was very tempted to get it. Quite a menu here. and It was like a smoker, but it, but it was like three grand. And I was there thinking, how often am I going to use it? Spend three grand on a smoker. Restaurant, They definitely do offer a lot more than just barbecue. I couldn't justify it to myself. They're going to be announcing the 5090s soon. I'm going to have to get one of them. So I have to save money for that. Yep. Tried and true. And that's even just like at the, uh, you know, self-serve bars. Maybe I'll try some of these ribs and then... Right, it's, uh, yes. I'll show you the one I was looking at in a minute. Right, let's see this guy get through this. Is he going to do it? Like it was pure fat. Look at that. Look, I'm just hanging off it. Oh. Yes, okay. That's not, I, I, now it's the, yeah, you, you can't compare. You can't invite people over. Holy jumpers. Hot damn. Getting through it. Come on. Let's go. He's getting through it all. That was the best bite yet, man. He's he's on the uh, the the, the burn tens now. Hot damn! He's getting through plenty of water. Hallelujah! What he's doing to his digestive system? I feel it, y'all. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. My, my, I'm having sensory overload with these things. These are just the craziest things ever. She's going to eat him up afterwards. Look at her. She's like, mm, I'm going to have you some good eating. There's John Wayne in the background. Colon like the Suez Canal. Again, lovely Texas style. I've never, I don't, if I had burnt ends, I don't know if I've even had them. Actually, no, tell a lie. Yes, I have, but not like that. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure about the the, the jalapeno sausage. It's a very mild tissue part. I don't mind spicy sausage, but not heavily smoky. Jalapenos in it? Which means I'm not sure. Jalapeno. Not sure about that. Looks oh, dangerous. Jalapeno. He's saving them for the end. Oh no, he's saving the ribs signature. for the end. Sausage, pork and beef. He's getting through it. To be fair, never beaten barbecue oh, challenge. Are there any barbecues in Red Dead? I won't mind uh, popping over to one of them. He's not look. He's not struggling. And look, he's not sweating or anything like that. Like you know, he's not got the meat sweats coming out of him yet. He's getting through it. He's he's going for it. That empties. That's it. Uh, true. He's got the. He's got a lot of. Um, he he does put a lot of makeup on, doesn't he? You can see it on his face. These ribs have a little more of that rub on them. But when he was doing that place, the spicy one, and he looked like he was crying. He's too comfortable here. See it, right? Is it impressive, Pope? I mean, do you think do you think that's impressive, or do you think a little bit like there there is there is something wrong with this guy? I mean, it's a weird thing to be able to do anyway. It's on the throne for the next season. 
like you said, it depends if it if he if he if he actually eats it. Or does he go out the back, spew it all out into the back of a bag? Because he won't spew up there. They'd never be happy with that. Like, you can't stick all that down our toilets. So what does he do? Where does he go? All right. Whoa. He's keeping, he's keeping the sausage to the end. That's a rich sausage, though. Wow. I mean, right, how many people would you say this was for? Four? Six? Buy it and give it to the homeless. That that's he, there's some there's some kind of like there's some proper toilet stuff going on there. It's like when someone does something spectacularly dangerous successfully, it's impressive, but no way I'd rationally try it. I mean, I know Americans love that idea of oh wow, let's celebrate this because they've done something stupid. You know, you, you can you know that evil can evil. You know I mean like most people go that's a spectacularly stupid stunt there for you to be doing. But, you know, most replayed bits. Oh, here we go. He did all of it. And we are finished right there. Wow. In about 30 minutes, 10 seconds. 30 minutes, 10 seconds, everybody. Oh, hot damn. That would take me all long. Well. I haven't seen an Evil Knievel movie. I didn't know there was one. The last time I saw Evil Knievel on anything, it was uh, Bart versus... Needs the jump or whatever it was. The one where Homer Simpson falls down. Although that wasn't actually Evil Knievel, I don't think. <laughs>